Check this. Hey guys, how's it going? Everything Games here, back with another episode of the Katafi Career. What is actually the season one finale, as it says by our brand new thumbnail. I'll have to make a new thumbnail for season two because that's why I always do. As you can tell by the Glabic Career mode and the Brescia Career mode. Now, guys, if you didn't watch the episode, read. I, I actually, I'm going to give you a chance to watch the episode before because a lot of stuff needs to be covered. So if you didn't watch last episode, just go. I'll give you a chance now. <laughs> Last episode, in, ca in case you watched it or not, we played four games. We decided to start off against Sevilla with a 4-1 win. We then simmed against uh, Alaves, 1-1 drop. Not very disciple then. We had a massive against Real Madrid at the Bernabeu. We won 1-0 and we were only a point behind them in the table. I then proceeded to end the episode off with a sim game against Osasuna. Quick sim, we lost 2-0. Yeah, it's not exactly favourite. We have a game in hand and if we win, we'll go back up to second four points behind Madrid. Guys, this episode's going to be close to an hour. If not, it's longer than an hour. Because we have six games. I'll be playing it. If we're still in the tighter race, we're going to be playing at least four of them. Which will be probably Villarreal, we play. Bilbao, we sim. Valencia, we play. Huesca, we sim. And then play the last two games. If we're out of the tighter race by like the Huesca game, then I'll probably sim the so I'll probably sim that, sim that, and then play that. Like I said, it's all based on the tighter race. Now, I'll just show you the table right now um yeah as you can see we're only a point behind barca and if we win we will only be four points behind real madrid it is out of our hands now when it comes to the real madrid barcelona stuff we did the best we could we beat both of them in their own stadiums and i think at the beginning of the season i know real beat us and i know barca beat us so that we we are 50 50 we were going up against sec fourth place villarreal who are only two points behind us if we lose this we are the tight race is pretty much over. Now, before we go any further, guys, if you do like the videos, please forget to smash the like, subscribe, comment, share your friends, all the good stuff. Your support is incredibly appreciated, right? Also, in case you didn't know us, Ameth and Dai uh, is now going to be the only part of the Ndai uh, Liao partnership, as Mr. Ndai has suffered a season ending injury thanks to that Real Madrid game, aka for uh, being a dick. So, we're trying to make do with Hernandez, and uh, to be honest, I trust Unal more. I don't know, I just think Hernandez is completely and utterly inadequate at doing this type of stuff. I don't know why, I just think uh, I can trust Unal more. It's going to be harder to get him in, considering, you know. We are, we're a counter-attacking team, and Unal isn't exactly a counter-attacking striker. But we're going to try our best. We are really going to try our best. We're going to start off this episode now with a game against the almighty Villarreal to kick off the season finale. There will literally be very little talking in between matches, guys, because we need to try... I need to try to keep this under an hour, because, you no know, people watch this. It's just like, you know, that's when they're under half an hour. If this is an hour long, people would probably just go like, Yikes. Without any further ado, we are going to start off, and I just realised that was a very close call. Rodriguez is not starting. Cabaco, get in there, you beast alone, Conti. Right, so uh, I'll actually start more. This is the line we're going with. Soria, Conti, Gene, Cabaco, Oliveira, Arambari, who's who was brilliant the last three games. Cucarera, Tusar, Moore, Indai, and Unal. The team they're rocking up with is Geronimo Rulli, Gaspar, Funes Mori, Torres, and another... Um, well, not saying no, he's not a Gladbach legend. He was more of a Brescia legend. Estupinian, Kubo, Gagliardini, Parejo, Gomez, Costa, and Paco Alcacer. Alright, guys. This game is the first of me of six that can make or break our season. We are pretty much guaranteed European football, but we want, at the very least, Champions League. And if we can keep this title hope alive, it would be the best first season ever. Let's go, boys. Can we try and sink the yellow submarines here? We will try our damnedest. Even though we are missing the assist king, Rafael Leao, we still have a great team on our hands. Let's go, boys. Come on. We need top performances from everyone and hopefully less injuries. All right, Aaron Barry. Good first touch to Indai. Oh, it went through the legs. Here's Unal. Going to give it to Cucurella. Gonna cross it back post to Amethyst and I, and it's headed out. Okay, Cucurella. Nice. Amethyst and I. Oh, great turn of speed. Can he shoot? It's a good save by the goalkeeper. Oh, God. I was hoping, like, he'd go around to the back post so I could lift it over the defender, but he's not. Oh, no. Right, second by the cherry. Oh, and he's headed it over the bar. Okay, uh, let, let's just take a look, Unal. Okay, it's okay. What's your heading accuracy? Okay, what's your jumping? It's 81. Oh, eight, I don't know how he's not, you know, keeping these down, Unal. Come on, buddy. Well, he, he kind of helped there. I don't know he didn't actually get the ball back. 
Okay, let's go ball over the top. Kubo, be careful. Good defending by Cabaco. Okay, Villarreal corner. Danny Parejo. In, Soria punches it. Conti. Okay, the header wasn't great and he's been pushed there. Okay, Kubo, good block. Jump to the ball, guys. Don't just sit there watching the it go. Good job, guys. And it's a free ball. We could have hit a counter attack there. Oh, great defender by Jenny there. I thought I fucked it up, but luckily he was able to stick the leg out. Um, I tried to pass it there, but he just didn't. Oh, lovely back. All right, Olivia, run. You don't really go on blistering runs yourself. I see Emery Moore back post. I see Indai back post. Indai header. It's a corner. How is he not like... Uh, come on, you have to jump him there. All right, Unal, last chance. Okay, he's actually got on target there. Good save. Aaron Barry, win the header. Okay, Kabako. And I, Cucurella. Oh, no, yeah, no, it's Cucurella. So Cucurella and Unal have the same hair. Oh. Another cross, and nope. I. Oh, my God, this goalkeeper. And Emery Moore shifted over the bar. Oh, my God, this goalkeeper. Ruley, look at that save. Oh, my God, and Unal shifted over the bar. We will literally have to grind a lot of these results, so, which is championship form. Cabaco, nice. Aaron Barry. Die. That is terrible passing. And Real are 1 0 up. Wonderful. Osasuna. Come on. You fucked us over. Surely you can fuck them over. You can't really run very much. Emery Moore can run a bit. Oh my god. Lovely. Score, Emery Moore. Come on, Emery Moore. <laughs> he scored once on his right foot against Real Madrid. He's never going to do it again. I probably rushed it there. Probably could have brought it onto his left foot, but I'm just really afraid. Oh, two, sir. My god. Okay, that was... I think it was offside anyway. Oh, I thought we had another injury. I do not need more injuries. Game. Right, Ember Moore. Unal! There you go, the Turkish connection! Get in there! Unal and Emre Moore linking up brilliantly! As they probably would on the international stage if Unal... I know... Well, actually, no, I don't even think either of the player for Turkey, but... A little assist and a good finish there by... Mr. Enes Unal, his second goal of the season, right before halftime, one up, boys. That's a great attack by Kukurela. Uh, P. Fair, though, I think the guy who's really ran this first half has been Tusar. With the tackles he's been making and the passes, he's been very, very impressive. All right, Conti. Headed over the bar, and that concludes the first half. We luckily get a one nil lead through Mr. Enes Unal. And, yeah, we've been the better side. I... Can comfortably say. As I can see, actually it's a lot closer than I thought. We've had a lot of shots, just a lot of them off target. Second half, okay, we need a longer, a bigger lead than this. We need at least one more goal to actually sit comfortable. Especially with me controlling, because I am known to bottle. And I, good turn, and touch, and it's... it's <laughs> Jenna, nice pass. Okay, uh, boo, that's a probably a really good challenge, actually. Fair play. Like I said, grinding out results is very important. Um, in these last few games, so oh my god, please! Oh, that's terrible, Cucurella. That is awful. That is awful. You ruined it. You ruined it, Cucurella. You absolutely bollocks that. Why does he keep? Why did he flick it up there? It's a simple. It's a simple pass. I wanted. Why would you flick it? That was not hoof. I put nearly full power into that. Thank you, Jenny. I see. I see. In die back post. Oh my god, who is this defender? Pau Torres. My boy, just let me in. Oh my god, no. Oh my god, oh my god, just take a minute there. Mm. What happened? Alright, so I passed with Conti, and I passed with him. That was a very bad decision by me, and I'm very lucky. I am very lucky that Diego Costa hit the post and. Oh, great interception by Cabaco. That probably would be a foul in real life, but I'm not sure. Olivier has been absolutely bullied. <gasps> Referee! No! No, don't screw me, game. Please, game. Just don't screw me over, please. Alright, I'm making subs now. I'm making subs. I'm making subs. I'm making subs. I am making subs. I really need to make subs. Right, um, I will bring on... Uh, I don't know. I, I actually don't know who to bring on. We'll bring on Diaby, and uh, work on more play, and Diaby can play on the left, so we'll put him there. Yeah. Alright, his opinion. Listen, you're good for me in, in ultimate team, just leave me alone, please. Oh, I pulled you and I went too far out of position. Well, well, I've already committed, so... 
Come on. Die. Eh. Make him panic. Damn it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Benzema has made a 2-0. Lots of sun pass. I don't know what's happening. I'm so confused. Villarreal making great chance, but we're holding up. Oh my god, I'm about to lose my shit. I'm about to lose my shit. I'm about to lose my shit. My player stole on a fucking pass. Thank you, Jenny. Okay, can we actually... Can we... Act I'm gonna make a pass, right? Can we... Can we... No! No, we can't. We can't. We can't seem to pass. We can't make one pass. Like, why is everyone just sliding in? Why? Why? Is it because it's the PS4 version? I have no fucking clue. That's some pass, though. The Abbey. Cut inside. And die. Shoot! Oh, thank you! Thank you, Amit! Amit, oh, thank you, God! Oh, my Lord! Oh, my God! At least we still have Amit to get us out of these situations! Thank the God! A two-goal cushion is exactly what we needed, especially since Villarreal were putting on the pressure. Great first touch, and he absolutely wallops it. The keeper's rooted to the spot. Really, guy, you didn't fucking say that one. Roses are red, violets are blue. How many goals is that for Amit today? It's 32. <laughs> but poor, I didn't even know it. We are going ultra defensive, and I'm making my last two subs. Mr. Rodriguez is coming on for Oliveira, and we will bring on Timor for Tussar, because why the fuck not? Not where I want what I wanted to do, but okay. Alright, Diaby. Diaby. Diaby! Good save by Rully in the Dots game. 2 0 win away from home to start off this season finale, season one finale, and that is a ma ma a ma a blah blah, I can't speak, a massive three points. Oh god, right, Bar Real Madrid won 2 0 thanks to Benzema, so we have to hope that Barca are at least going to drop some points, even though, like I said, that was our gaming in hand. I'm not doing any post match conferences, by the way, unless, like, the title is decided or whatever. Luckily, Three shots on target, we scored twice, that's all that was needed. Alright, this is where I shit myself, this is where I pretty much have no control. As you guys know, even if the game's going to shit, I can't go in, because that's the rule I've set up at the beginning of the season. Atletico Bilbao at home. Okay, we lost 2-0 at home. Where are Bilbao? Bilbao are 15th. We have Valencia after that, that are 12. Please just don't lose, that's all I'm asking. Just don't, just don't lose, I'm begging you, please. Do not lose. I am fielding my strongest team. We do not have the like the mindset of resting players. It's now or never, okay? Balls to the walls. Let's go, boys. Come on. Unai, Simon, Kappa, Yare, Martinez, Balenciaga, Peru, Chapelez, Chapelev, Sanket, Leku, Martinez, and Munain. Okay, lads. I believe. I believe. I believe. I know we can do this. Nice. Oh, no scramble. Oh, God. Who's number 16? Amit and I. Oh, God. So close there. Good save by Unai Simon early on. Oh, and I was making a run through the middle. Unal. Good pass. Good. Cr oh, nice. Into the box. Good save. Damn it. Unai Simon is fucking up. He's doing good so far. They are counter attacking us hard. I feel like. Do I need to go attacking straight away? But like, we're making chances, just we're not scoring. And we're not making intelligent passes either. That was a nice head on by Indai there. Oh, whoa, what happened there? Come on, we can do this. Right for half time, take the lead. Right for half time. Right for half time. Oh, I was hoping they got knocked down for a pen or something. No. And that's a foul. That's half time. What do I do? I can't do anything. I have my strongest team out. I'm going attacking. That's the only thing I can do. We're gonna go attacking. I know it's optimistic for me to think we are gonna win the league first season, but like, it's uh, it's very fucking possible. We need Madrid basically to bottle it once when it comes to like an easy game. All right, nice, nice. Look at all that space where oh, I'm diving in so much space. The AI makes everything overcomplicated, and that really annoys me. I'm gonna bring on Hernandez. Unal has done jack diddly shit. I mean, you know, he has a bit of pace and he seems to score in same games, so why not? Oh. I was about to have a heart attack. Thank fuck he was offside. Come on, boys, please. I want to break through. Oh, no, two sides should have played to die. Oh, you should have played it to and die. Oh, look at, like, I'm replaying it now. There, that's where you pass it. He was right in front of the goalkeeper. It's just the AI overcomplicates every single pass. Nope. And we've missed. Who's that? Two sides. Why is. Oh, my God.
Oh my god, why are we passing it back out? Oh my god, we're just ruined. Mm. Oh my god, lads. You ruined it. You ruined everything. You ruined everything for me in these sim games. Fuck off, game. Madrid yeah. through as well. That is so fucking annoying. We have a very goal difference at Barca. Whoopee! Real are nine points clear. That shit is exactly what I fucking mean. Like, why? Why is... If we won that game, if we fucking won that game, we'd be seven. I don't know, actually. I don't. I don't know. We'd be two points better off, so we'd be up to seventy-six plus four. We'd be seven points behind Real Madrid with a game in hand. But we basically haven't moved. We haven't moved at all. We have to play Valencia now. This is what I mean, like about the sim games. Like I can't trust them, and watching them is only more frustrating. So. You know what? Fuck it. I don't care anymore. After this Valencia game with Huesca, I'm gonna quick sim it. I don't give a shit anymore. And then the league is gone. The, the league's gone. We will then, it, like, when Real Madrid eventually get their other win, we'll sim the Sociedad game and we will end it with um, Ibar. Fuck it. I don't care anymore. It's too annoying. I'm too fucking pissed off now. Unfortunately, I can't set up goal news. So that's been annoying. But it'll show us the Real Madrid and Paris matches anyway. Barca we don't really have to worry about because like if we fuck it up then the Barca will just overtake us right? If Real Madrid is what we're really looking for. We face Valencia now which is basically just denying, just sorry not denying, it is um, awaiting the inevitable or like what is it? I can't think of the actual phrase, I can't think of the phrase anyway I give up we're just going to play against Valencia now and hopefully win. That's, that's the way it goes. Can Emery Moore and um, Una link up again? Can they? Header! And they can! Unal and Emery Moore are the perfect part of And Vas just punched Unal in the face, but that doesn't matter! Gave each other a Turkish hug. Oh, ah, Isn't that cute? Emery Moore going on the right-hand side again, and this time a flicked cross. I thought it wasn't good enough. Unal manages to just get ahead of him, and it puts the header right past Juanmi, I'm guessing. And that is Unal's third goal of the season. I do not need more injuries, Jenny. Please get up. Okay. As you can see, there's the table there, right? We are 9 points behind with our game in hand here, so we win this, we'll go up to 77. Like you usually do. Oliveira. Great cross to Unal again! Two headers! Unal with a double, that's an inform pretty much. He's already gone an inform already, he'll probably go up again. It is Unal, is the king of headers right now. Was that Emery Moore again? I thought it was Oliveira. I thought it was Oliveira, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe it was Oliveira, I can't remember now. No, it was Olivier. It's a great cross, great movement by Una. I was really hoping to get it in die, but no, Una. Yeah, he literally throws himself at the ball. He's not afraid. And that is his second of the game, his fourth of the season. We are 2 0 up now, thanks to two and his Unal goals. Funny that happened at the Bilbao game, but I'm going to forget about that for now. Oh, he's round the goalkeeper, and I, I ruined it. Oh, that was so good. The thing is, guys, if I go three goals up, I'm just going to quick sim it then, because, you know. If I can make this video shorter than it would originally be, I will. Oh, I ruined it there. Okay, Oliveira. Uh, Aaron Barry. Aaron Barry. Oh, Unal. And he's got a first half hat trick. Unal completes his hat trick in the first 20 minutes. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is amazing. Fair play to you, Enes Unal. You are filling the boots of the owl. Very, very well. Aaron Barry gets an assist, but there's only one man getting the inform, and that is Enes Una for our first half hat trick. Like I said, this is just a one time only thing. We're three goals up, I'm gonna quick sim. If, I swear, if we fucking. If we bottle this, I'm going to break shit. 3 1, okay, ends with Enes Una hat trick, and boom, 84 rated inform now. Let's see how Real did. I don't see Real there, so they obviously um, are playing later, and they're about to win. Yeah, just wait for it now. Just wait for it now. Just wait for it. Um. Uh. I wait. No. Did they win? Did they? No. They. They won. They won. Okay. It's pretty much over. Is it? It's three six nine. Basically, uh, Suarez wins the player month. It, there's three games left for us. What's the goal difference? <laughs> goal difference is miles away. Okay. So basically, Real need to lose their last three games, and we need to win and score a shit ton of goals. But the title race is pretty much over now, guys. The title race is pretty much over. We're going to go into this Wesker game. I'm going to quick sim it. Not really much point. We can at least, we can at the very least finish second. And Barca drop points there. So we're just going to go into this now. I'll just 
rotate it a little bit. Alright, that's where we're gonna go with against um, Huesca. We'll probably bottle it now, but I really don't care because tight race is over. I'll sim this. Sim this. I sim this. I'll sim the Sociedad game and then we will end it off with the, um, what you call it? Uh, the Ibar game to end off the season, right? Uh, let's just go into this game now and just quick sim it because we, we really just don't care. Bish bash bosh, drop points, I bet you a fiver. We won! Doro came on in the 86th, Doro came on in the 78th and he scored a winner. Sandro scored, Indai scored, and Mr. Doro came on and got the goal. Barca dropping more points, that's pretty much game over for them. We're guaranteed Champions League, I think, now. Oh yeah, we're, we're guaranteed Champions League. Getafe triumph over Huesca. And we have now two games left. And we are, as you can see, it's actually over now. It is physically over. And yeah, it's a sad, it's sad, but we did very good for our first season. 80 points. As you can see, Getafe need a victory to guarantee UEFA for Champions League qualification. Well, no, we don't, because look at Sevilla. They're on 70 points, we're on 80 points. It's, it, it's literally mathematically impossible for them to catch us now. So, it is possible for Atleti to catch us. And it's still possible for um, Barcelona too. But, that's pretty much that. We have pretty much qualified for the Champions League for next season. We have two games left. I'm going to quick sim. Not quick sim this. I'll just watch sim this and get annoyed. Basically guys, unless it's like a, a title decider game in the last episode. I just feel like a really bad team who probably won't of players who won't be here next season. So like people like... Hernandez and uh, Chichizola and stuff like that. But, I, yeah, I, I'm very proud. I'm annoyed because we definitely could have won the league. But I'm very, very proud. We finished top four in our very first season with um, Getafe. And we have next season to look forward to where we'll be playing in the Champions League. And we'll have a shit ton of money to spend. Right, let's go into this quick sim. It's a very, very strong Sociedad team. I accidentally quick simmed. And yeah, okay, that was a complete another accident and I completely ruined everything. <laughs> anyway guys, um, if you stick around you'll be able to see stuff like um, like the best possible Getafe team which has been built. Unfortunately we haven't got like any um, informs for people like Conti and Oliveira. Basically the whole defense of our story hasn't got an informs but we have a very very nice uh, inform midfield and defense. To look forward to and I will probably and I will probably give out the uh, player of the season award as well I'll probably scrap the fan player of the season because to be honest I don't think you really care about that so we'll just show you who is the player of the season I think everyone kind of knows who's the player of the season this season <laughs> yes even Mata's getting a game it's absolutely amazing Diaby's literally just gonna start because his loan's expiring after this game it's a shame that Liao couldn't have been here maybe he could have done something to help us get up there, I would start with the old. Actually, you know what? Fuck, we'll start with the. I don't. I don't care. Last game really just doesn't matter. We're gonna be playing with one of the shit teams. Now, Dora's just there because I don't know if he'll be there here next season or not. But yeah, we are going to start the end of the season. I don't know what I, my first thing is this episode. I'm so sorry for people. <laughs> but yeah, we are going to head into the last game of the episode now. I Barvis Getafe. If we even draw, we're guaranteed second place. Amit and I has run away with gold to boot with 33 goals. He could get one more if we, of course, bring him on. This will not be quick sim no matter the score or what. But yeah, we're going to go into this now, play against I and hopefully end this brilliant first season of the Getafe Premier mode off with a win. Let's go, lads. We are here in Ibar Stadium. Unfortunately, it's not at the Coliseum Alfonso Perez, but we are here at the Manikipal, whatever the hell that says. The guys are standing up proud as we qualified for the Champions League. Season two is something amazing to look forward to for these Getafe players. We came very, very close on one stage to topping the table, but unfortunately, due to Quicksim being a bastard, we just couldn't do it. But still, we should be very, very proud. And we will hold our heads up high for this final game season. Win, loss, or draw. As we can salute this first season. And just call it an absolute fucking success. Right now, let us continue and end the season off. Hopefully, with a win. If I'm not mistaken, was I the first team we played? Because I remember Okazaki um, popping up and scoring against us. But actually, no, I could be wrong. I probably am wrong. Kike. Or is it, it's not Kike, is it? Oh, no matter what, regardless who it is, that's a good save for Chichizola. Swung in. Oh, and Chichizola is terrible. <laughs> oh, thank the Lord. 
Oh, I did not play him. Oh, thank God I chose not to sell Soria. Kind of weird to think that it took me this long to complete the first season. Well, then again, like, I had a lot of um, stuff going on, obviously, with COVID and college. But I'm hoping to at least get to, to season three in this. Because we're currently, what, end of February? Yeah, I say we can get to the very least three seasons of three of the four seasons out of this done. Who knows, we might get the whole series done at this stage. Hopefully. Like, comparing it to all my old career modes, Gladbach, we won the league. We won... The, Ger the German Super Cup three times, we won the DFB Pukal, and we won the Europa League. And it's a shot, and Duro! That's cool. In Brescia, we won... What did we win in Brescia? Nothing on camera. I actually went, because uh, um, it was over, and I played it, like, in between the wait for um, the FIFA 21 full game, and the FIFA 21 demo. Well, not the demo, sorry, early access, and... Yeah, I won the Europa League, I won the UEFA, the, the UEFA Super Cup, and I won the Coppa, uh, Coppa Italia, or the Coppa Nazionale, I can't remember what it's called. But yeah, um, I feel like we'll win something with this. Hugo Duro, by the way, with the goal. Two star, being an absolute god and just bursting through midfield, like he's prime Michael Balak. Diaby, good cut inside, and... Mm, oh, he's kept it. Duro, Mata. Ah, uh, this is a matter here. Great, it's such a yum. Okay, matter, this is your last chance. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Yeah, I know you can do it, old man. Before you leave. Oh. Oh, referee, that is a clear and obvious foul. Apart from me just rambling on about stuff, there hasn't actually much happened. There actually hasn't been much happening in this game apart from that goal. Girl. Matter, we want to get Matter goal. Come on, old man. I know you can do it. Ah, uh, maybe not, actually. Maybe not. Oh, and he's doing well there. Diaby going back to defend. Oh, that's good play. Good save by Chichi Zola, even though it's right at him. He's happy about it, though. Good defending by Rodriguez. Gene. And that is half time. Half time. We are 1 0 up thanks to a Duro goal. And we will start to make substitution on Matza's off oh, straight away. I want to bring on Indai so, you know, he can actually get out to 30. Because I think Duro is just, it looks better than 33, being honest. Oh, Duro, he's up. Oh, that's not even Duro, it's Portillo. Go on, Portillo. You have no legs, but go on. Amit Indai. Or Duro, okay. Duro getting involved everywhere. And Indai just stopped his run there for no reason. Go on, Indai. Go on, Indai. Indai, stop. Turns. Finesse. It's easy for this man. That's goal number 34 for Amazon Dai in 38 league games. It's just vintage Amazon Dai running on one side. Fake shot, stops the ball, cuts inside, and then curls it on his left. 34 league goals for the man. Actually, no, it's less than 38, and he's probably played like 36. The second substitution will now be made, it which will be Mr. Who will come off? Chicho Zola for Soria because Soria deserves clean sheet more. Sorry, Chicho Zola. I know he made like one good save, but you know it, it's Dav Sorry, he's a he's a king. He's gonna do it again, isn't he? Watch this. Ah, oh, I was I just I seen the ball just in the top corner, except you know it, that was in my mind. Two sir, go on, two sir. Be a king. Two sir. Oh, like look at that! Like he doesn't even mean to pass, and yeah, it still goes to someone. There though. And die. Nope. Okay, I don't know what I was trying to do there. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm a uh, Kazuli, but no, I'm Emishi. Portillo holds it. Oh, lovely. Oh, 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 oh this man, this man, Amethydai, is absolutely broken. I love this guy. This guy's a god. We already know this. He's not getting another special card because he's already up to like a night already. He's getting a team of the season card. Like what the hell? 36 league goals. He pretty much has. Oh, it's not 36. 35. <laughs> he probably has a goal to game ratio, and not to mention the assists. And the last substitution, Mr. Timor coming off. He'll swap with Tusar, and we will bring on the god that is Aaron Barry. Right, let's go, lads. Can we score more? Hopefully. Can Aaron Barry score a bicycle kick? Absolutely not. He can barely score a goal. Well, there goes the clean sheet. That is absolutely annoying. Kiki Garcia. Uh, okay. Meow. Meow. Uh oh. That went better in my head. Last 10 minutes. Oh my god, I can't believe it's over. 
I can't believe the first season's over. Like I said, it's an overall, even though we didn't... Oh, don't, like, guys, just, just please don't, don't bottle this now, please. It's a perfect ending. Let's, you know what? No, look at the speed. Look at the speed. Speed's key. He's missed. Oh, dear God, Amethyst. You ran all that way, and then you just spunk it wide. No. Okay, Shen, a nice one. One more attack. One more attack. I see Amethyst and die. Amethyst and die. Run. Run and die. Run. You are speed. Speed is key. Oh. 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 Right, call it then. Call it. Season's over. And there we go. A 3 2 1 where we almost bottle it. Classic fashion for us. What a way to end the season. Second place, 83 points. We were in the title race up until the last, like, three games. And, what well, four games, really. The last month of the season. And, yeah. I can't say I'm any less... I, I'm any... That, that's not so bad. I'm any more proud of the boys. And let's just take a look at the final. Yeah, Remington won 2-0. The Barca play. I didn't see the Barca um, score there. Yep, um, Barca bottled it. <laughs> Barca finished fourth, Atletico finished third, we finished second, and Real won the league in first place. We have been awarded 137 million. Oh my god. That is crazy. Well, guys, if you want to stick around uh, after this part, I will show you the best possible Getafe team. And then, of course, the. Actually, I'll award the player of the season now. Okay, we're just going to skip anyone who did zeros. 6.8 for David Sori, which is good for a goalkeeper. 43 appearances and 15 clean sheets. We have Oliviera here, who got two assists in the league. 6.6, .6, not great, actually. Um, let's take a look here. Seb Vandenberg played five times, got two clean sheets. Kabako played 27 games, got six clean sheets. Jene, 44 games, he got an assist, 15 clean sheets. That's very, very good. Rodriguez, 24 games, he got a goal and eight clean sheets. Nyaum, 26 games, one goal, three assists. That's pr and they were all, unfortunately, in the... Um, friendlies but you know Conti I feel like had a very underrated season he I think 6.5 is better than like he actually played no sorry not better it's lower than he should get. I think he should have been at least a 7 around that 29 games he got one goal in La Liga and 9 clean sheets two star 18 games a goal and assist 7 clean sheets to 6.8 it's pretty decent considering he was a January transfer one of the most consistent players this season Mr. Aram Barry 43 games two goals 7 assists from deep midfield absolute blinder by the way guys like some of these players will get team of season cards because they play it so damn well who at 43 games six goals and nine assists i think is very damn good you played one game doesn't really matter timor nine games two clean sheets doesn't matter for theo nine games he got one assist i think that might have been actually the last game of the season you got diaby 32 games four goals and five not the worst not the best emory moore 17 games one goal one of the most important goals of the season we thought Three assists isn't the worst, I suppose. Could have been a lot better. Nandez, 27 games, five goals, two assists. Mata, one game, one assist. That was literally a Duro. Two games, two goals, pretty damn good. But these are the two main men. Look at this. 29 games, 14 goals, 14 assists. Unal, look at this. 16 games, five goals, one assist. It's considering a lot of them were bench, you know, coming off the bench pretty okay. Angel. 18 games, 5 goals, 2 assists, and then we have to end off with this man, Amazon Dive. Only we scored one more goal. 35, 36 matches, 35 goals, 13 assists, and an average overall of a 7.9. He is, of course, the player of this season. He now has, I believe it is a 96 rated card. 89 pace, 95 shooting, 91 passing, 97 dribbling, 68 defending, and 87 physical. If you don't have that card in your ultimate team, and he is four star, four star, then you're you're just you're you're a fucking idiot. So now, guys, I will spit you farewell as we show off the best possible Katafi team. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys for season two, and as always. I'll see you next time.